Welcome back guys to Stalker Gamma. Today, we're gonna be doing some real Gamma stuff. <laughs> if you don't know, Gamma does offer a feature where you can build your own hideout, your own base. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. In the last episode, we got our hands on some basic tools as well as some advanced tools. Uh, we also got new armor and we also spent all of our money. I'm now uh, I'm super broke. Um, but that's not gonna stop me. I need to go build a base. This is something I've been wanting to do for some time. So first things first, we need to decide where to build that base. I did get a couple of recommendations in the comments, um, both of which were north of me for places to build my base. So we're gonna go check those out. We haven't traveled north yet in this playthrough, so that should be uh, interesting. Hopefully we don't get absolutely wrecked. Uh, but we do have a base location somewhere here in uh, what is this called? In Jupiter. And we also have a base location uh, potentially in Zatan. Um, the one in Zatan is the Krug or Krug Antenna Complex, also known as the Bloodsucker Lair, which I kind of leaning away from. Um, not only is it just really far north, but the Bloodsucker Lair, I, I don't know if I want to deal with that. I feel like killing Bloodsuckers and having to worry about them all the time might not be the best course of action. So. Uh, we're going to be checking out the, the Volkov AA complex in Jupiter, and I don't know exactly where it's at because I don't have any of the locations discovered here. So we're going to have to just go here and, and take a look around. It could be this place or it could be any of these. Um, no matter. We're going to take a look. We're going to find it, scope it out, see if it'll suit me. And if so, we'll start building a base. Um, but before we get started in all of that, um, I did get a request to go through my settings, which I'm going to do quickly. I'll put a timestamp here. If you need to, if you don't care to see that, you can skip it. Feel free. If not, feel free to watch it and you guys can kind of find out what settings I'm rocking with. So let's do that real quick. All right. So before we get into the uh, like detailed in-game settings, I just want to give you guys a look at the launcher settings. I have it on DirectX 11, support for AVX CPU, and the shadow map is set at the lowest, 1536. The sound workaround problem, I have this checked because I'm, I'm trying to figure out I have a sound problem, and I'm trying to get it fixed. Neither of these have fixed it so far. Like, I'm actually trying turning off prefetch to see if that maybe fixes it. I don't know. I'm working on a, on a sound issue right now. So yeah, that's the launcher settings. Let's get in game and I'll go through the rest. All right, now we are in game. Let's go through my settings quickly. These are just the basic visual settings. Not much to see here. This is all default, I believe. Advanced settings, this is where the magic happens. Now, rendering distances, I have the world set just under half. Static and dynamic objects are at half and shadow cooling I have off. This will actually improve in performance a little bit. Um, it'll kind of get rid of the shadows that you're not gonna notice because they're far away and all that. Rendering quality, we have texture detail at about half, object detail at one, um, texture MIP bias is at half, my anisotropic filtering is at 16 per 16 times, and anti-aliasing's at eight times, SMAA is at high, and I have these three. These three options are checked for detail pump, steep parallax, and tessellation. That will kind of improve the look of your game and it doesn't have too much of a performance hit. Now grass is where you either make or break your PC. This game has insanely like hard to render grass. I don't really know why, it's just always been this way. So if you're having like extremely terrible performance, this is probably what you want to check first and definitely don't have your grass density set above like 75%, unless you have just an insane PC that can run all that. So mine's set at 75, my rendering distance is about half, and my size is at one. I um, mean, I have the shadows turned off. I haven't even noticed the difference with it on, so I just turned it off. My lighting settings are 0.5 on distance, 0.5 on quality. I have my player's shadow turned on. I think that's cool little immersion aspect to have on. The gloss factor, I have no idea what this does. Mine's set to 2.5. Now, the sun shadows and sun rays, these are what I've messed with the most, probably. Just I wanted to get it to look a certain way, and I think I like where it's at now. I have it definitely set to volumetric. That certainly looks a lot better than the screen space volumetric, and I have the uh, quality medium and the sun ray quality medium. Now that your uh, main intensity and, and base intensity, these two settings are, are going to decide like how visible your sun rays and god rays are in the game. One and point one for me. SSAO mode I have turned off. Volumetric light I have turned on. And then down here at the effects, motion blur and depth of field, 
typically don't look good when you're trying to make a video. So I have these off your soft water particles, wet surfaces, volumetric smoke. That's all just kind of added effects to kind of increase the, the game's fidelity. So yeah, that's all. That's all my graphic settings. Um, you feel free to copy those down or if you have a suggestion of something, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm missing something and I need to have something change. You can feel free to let me know. I run the game at about 75 frames and that's okay i mean typically i would like my games to run over 100 frames per second especially in a first person shooter game where aiming matters but 75 is decent for how the game looks i'm, I'm okay with it i do have like a 2080 and a, an i7 9700k so like it's not a bad pc this game i feel like should run better but uh i've came to terms with it and i'm okay with it if i'm doing something completely wrong in these settings like do let me know. I, <laughs> I'd be happy to change it. Uh, I'll just flip through these. If you want to copy these for any reason, you can. I, I don't really think I've messed with any of these personally. Um, this is all pretty much default to what Gamma sets them as, day night stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. And then sound, you probably don't need. Uh, that's all. This is, those are my settings. Hopefully that helped you. I know some of you guys have asked for this, so. There you go, and uh, yeah, let's get back into the video. All right, let's get back into this. Uh, first thing I'm actually going to do is head into Wild Territory. We got some action here. We got uh, we got a couple of samples I need to find, and also a green stash that is titled a chest with medicine and meds are always good to have. So I'm gonna stop through here and grab that first. This place is always so freaky to me. This and Darkscape, probably the two like top eeriest places you can be at in this. Um, let's see, do I have some bolts? I do. You guys keep telling me that I, I I I know I can turn on infinite bolts, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a masochist. Like part of me just likes the the danger of like running out because then it's I don't know. It makes the anomalies a bit more of a threat. I mean, if it really becomes a, a burden for me, I'll turn it on to have infinite bolts, but for now I'm just gonna keep rocking with limited ones, and uh, you guys can just enjoy watching me get wrecked by anomalies. Oh, uh, we got some mutants over there. They'll probably just get destroyed by this anomaly, I'm not too worried about it. And let's go. Okay, I got somebody. You know what I'm realizing? We're in like some radiation right here. If you remember earlier in this series, the radiation here like absolutely destroyed me. And now I'm not even getting a white radiation symbol next to my health stat, uh, next to my health stats. So yeah, this armor is a really good <laughs> compared to what we had at least and that was a mercenary it's usually more than one here so try and clear this out yeah we'll take all that and go ahead and disassemble that radio i can build my own improved like anomaly detectors artifact detectors and stuff like that so i'll probably be doing that i can also build a better pda which if I remember right, if it's the same kind of PDA system as in just Stalker Anomaly. Um, oh, where's his head at? Just let that fire. I hear footsteps. Oh, there's a guy up on top. Just saw a glimpse of him. Okay, I don't know where that Merc went. I think he's inside. It's really not a good time to be looting. Might get shot in the face. Okay, let's try and sneak up on this mercenary here and take him out. What kind of mutants. These guys have been having a hell of a day. Oh my gosh, is there seriously? They're gonna be coming over here. 
Uh, excuse me? Okay, we're gonna have- those mercenaries are probably gonna come here for safety. Uh, I'm gonna have to just hold this place down. Sorry, you can't stay here tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, what the hell is that timing? Okay, well... I think that was all of them. We're gonna wait out this mission. Alright, so our objective, we have a anomaly in an underground tunnel. I heard that there's a safe path through it. And then we have the stash, and then we have this anomaly is electric, so I should remember to bring enough bolts. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it shows that this first one is in a tunnel, like right over here. So I'm gonna have to find a way down under. No, oh, recall there. Oh, what is this? Stash? Yo, what? No way. <laughs> oh my god. A freaking oracle of night vision, dude. Um. Holy shit. Guys, you guys are gonna think I planted that. Holy shit, that's insane. Does this have a light? It does have a light too, okay. Um, wow. Bro, I cannot believe that I just found that. Base cost 31k, yeah. That's, uh, that's not a cheap item. Sometimes this game giveth, you know? I mean, it obviously taketh. <laughs> that's like the best night vision in the game, by far. Okay, where is this thing? Shows shows it's right here, but it's underneath me. So mm, there must be an a way to get underground nearby. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of looking around. Well, here's a spot right here, actually. Okay, somewhere I've never been. Uh, we have that stash. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Oh my God, let's. Go! Advanced sewing kit. This is my third gunsmithing tools. Yeah, this is somewhere I've never been. In wild territory, I didn't even know this existed. There's a whole, like, underground tunnel here. Uh, let's do... This isn't really a night... Okay, wow. You know what, never mind. We're not using that. The, uh, electric anomalies absolutely obliterate the effectiveness of the night vision. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to find a way around these anomalies here. They're shutting off my flashlight when I get near them. Oh, it's right here. Grapes. Right? No, there's anomalies all in here. Look, there's one over there, too. What is that? Well, I am nervous right now. These electric anomalies. Oh god, no, don't get stuck. Okay, and then there's the other one that's over in the far corner here. Um, holy shit, how am I supposed to get to that? Uh, can I jump down right here? Ugh. No way. How am I supposed to do this? Gah. There's two. That's a chain. Holy shit. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh. Okay, there's a sample. I have to get that. The chain anomaly is like, so good. Oh, I didn't realize I'm dying. Holy shit, I've been dying this whole time. Okay, turn this off, it's stressing me out. Oh, come on. Okay, that hurt. I'm getting jacked up. I gotta use another heal, and then we gotta move. Uh... Oh, come on, let me out of here. Holy shit. Um, alright, well... Oh, my armor's so broken, dude. 
This is at 76, I can at least repair it. Okay, so if you ever need artifacts, uh, here's the place to get them. That's insane. I got a chain. Look at how... Just look at how nuts this is. The weight of devotion provides small health and stamina regen. Actually, it doesn't sound that insane when you're just talking about it. But this small amount of health and stamina regen is not a small amount. If it's anything like it was in EFP, you'll know if you saw those uh, videos. This thing will just absolutely counter most stamina decreases and it regens your health so good. It doesn't regen your limbs, but your base health it will. Let's go get this other one quickly and get the heck out of here before it gets dark. Take- oh shit! Yo, where is this guy? Oh, you mother- get him. No way! <laughs> get wrecked, dude! Um, yeah, so we have a bit of a problem. My armor is pretty jacked up, so... Yeah, this isn't gonna be good. If you can't tell, I'm like genuinely not excited to do this. <laughs> okay, looks like I can walk through right here. I need to get on the other side of this. It's over there, yeah, hold on. Let me get out of here. So I'm not damaging my armor. I need to get to the other side of that train. I think I saw it over there. There might be a better way if I come down here first. Can I get it on the back? Hold up. Yeah, oh. Oh, come on. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, I missed. So, if I throw a bolt into this anomaly, am I able to run through it after it flares up, or will that just kill me? That is something I don't really know. Um, but we're gonna find out, because... yeah. It seems so. Okay. They're not be shooting at me. Somebody is definitely shooting at me. Now's not the time. Give me that. Uh, sample. We gotta move. Oh, Alright. Okay, so I think we got another mercenary out here trying to pop shots off at me. Uh, the problem is I have no idea where he's at. And I'm getting tired so my screen keeps getting blurry. I think I need to just dip. Got way too much stuff on me. We're gonna stand behind this pillar. Okay, so where did this mission need to be? Find sample in radioactive workshop. This anomaly is not listed on the map. I can find the workshop just before the checkpoint in front of Rostock, and it is highly radioactive. Uh, just before the checkpoint in front of Rostock. <sighs> no. Oh no. Does this count as shelter? Fuck, I don't think so. Uh, I could go down there. Okay. This is- we're going inside this freaking terrible place here. <sighs> First in a mission and then a side storm and it hasn't even been very long. That's crazy. I thought something was weird because I saw this flickering, but I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, now it's really, now it's really flickering. All right, so now we need to go to Ross. I can't, okay, so yeah, I didn't realize there was a third sample. It's not listed on the map. The workshop just before the checkpoint in front of Rostock. So luckily we're pretty close to Rostock. I'm not sure which checkpoint it's referring to. Okay, I think we're clear. Ish, what is that? Is there an anomaly in there? I don't recall there being an anomaly in there. The sun is going down, mutants are waking up. Yeah. That's also true.
Oh, this ambient music is killer. Sorry, buddy. Uh, there are multiple in here. Yikes. Uh, I don't want to have to climb this ladder. There's definitely another one. I heard him walking. Yep. Okay, I think we're okay now. Alright, let's loot these bodies and get out of here. It's just getting darker by the minute. Hey, see my stamina right now as I'm running with yellow weight? Yellow overweight and... I'm running, but my stamina is like barely going down, and that's because of that chain artifact. That's just how good it is. It mitigates so much stamina loss. It's actually pretty nuts. Whoa. What is going on in my stock, dude? What? That's some free loot. So, the checkpoint, there's a workshop past the checkpoint. I don't know exactly where the checkpoint is, but um, it's gotta be just one of the, it's gotta be one of the entrances, but I don't think there's a workshop of any kind there. You know what? Let's sleep first. Let's just sleep first. Let's get full health. Let's get not tired. Damn it, so I can't do it here. I can't fix my armor until I get back to base because it's too damaged. If it was one more percent, I could have done a heavy sewing kit on it. Man. So, that's fine. Bye. Bye. All right, we're gonna sleep. We'll sleep till 5 a.m. We'll get plenty of rest. Why is this thing, if the efficiency of it has diminished almost entirely, and there's something I'm not understanding with the artifacts. One of you guys that know, please let me know. Golly, my stamina is shot. Yeah, see this thing, its efficiency went down to eight. What? I don't understand. What am I doing that's causing this thing to break, essentially? I'm just gonna unequip it, because I don't understand how that works. Okay, workshop, workshop, workshop. This wouldn't be the workshop, would it? I'm not getting any tone on the... Ah, uh, gosh dang it. This anomaly is not listed on the map. I can find the workshop just before the checkpoint. Are these stashes? Because this is where I found insane... Yeah? A glucose shot? It's only the ones with like... A gas mask or gear hanging on them are stashes. I'm just gonna roam the area. I'll probably edit to wherever I find this thing. Um, that's another stash right there. Wait a minute. It's not talking about way back here in wild territory, right? I found in the workshop just before the checkpoint in front of Rasa. Cause the highly radioactive spot is like right, it's this building. You like enter in right here, you come out right here and it's like super radioactive. And I even looked in there and saw that red thing that I thought was Zod. Surely that's not it. And I've just been looking in the lo like completely wrong area this whole time. It might be, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Oh man. There's a freaking loner going into the... No, dude. I'm gonna have to fight you. <laughs> that loner's going into wild territory and I'm basically just coming in right behind him. Okay. I can't freaking see this guy. Hold on. He's in the... Okay. You guys probably can't even see this. To be honest, I can't either. I've got to move up. Oh, God. That was a hit. 
feel kind of bad for that loner who I unintentionally just followed in here. Uh, speaking of, oh my god. Holy. I don't want to be this freaking overweight. Ugh. I think it really is that building that I first assumed. I literally walked right by it, man. That's... Ah. Uh, some typical stalker shit. Yep. Here we go. There's the beep. And that's probably the artifact right there. Oh, my stamina. Shit. Hold on. Can't be having that. Sample. Done. We're done. Let's get out of here. Hello. My gosh. That was a crunchy sound. Whoa, whoa. Hey man, that was my cover. Who's that? Don't throw a grenade at me. Oh my god. Where is this other guy at? Oh, dude, it was so hard to see. Bruh, what the hell? We're getting attacked by everyone out here today. I wish there was a active, active buff. Like, I wish these buffs down here at the bottom left, when you went into your inventory, I wish they stayed there and you could hover over them and know exactly, like, the detailed stats on them. Like, I want to know how much longer I have, you know, weight and carry improvement and all that stuff. Just be kind of a nice feature if the mods added something like that. Yo, what's up, dude? Still feeling it fuzzy from all the electro anomalies I stepped in. Anyway, here you go, Professor. Your next batch of artifacts. So he took the two souvenirs and the magnet, gave me 9k, nice, that's sick. I can continue the quest line. Anything else? I was hoping for something more exciting, was I? I don't know, that was pretty exciting. Alright, each artifact emits energy at its own frequency. It's like an important, it's like an imprint, the author's signature on a work of art. The wider the scanning range of the detector, the more artifacts it can find. As a rule, stalkers are looking for artifacts with outstanding properties. Meanwhile, any samples from anomalies are of the interest of science. Two science. Very interesting. Okay. There was an another field study I did not manage to carry out yet. Just up north of here in Yontar, there's an old laboratory which emits dangerously high levels of psi emissions. I have reasons to believe these emissions are affecting the formation of artifacts in the area. I did not mean to entrust you with this task, but I can't wait to see the results. Okay. That's cool. I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> I gotta go drop off loot. Let's go to uh, military. And I think we'll have enough money to get ammo and get ready for our for our big move. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, well, those anomalies took a little bit longer. That mission took a lot longer actually than I um, kind of expected it to. So we're gonna just go to military, drop off all of our stuff, and then we're gonna head to, yikes. Yeah, there's gonna be kind of one long ass trek. I don't even know if I'm ready to get all the way up to Zatan, like damn, or Jupiter for that matter. Cause we're gonna have to pass through, let's see. We can either leave from here and go through Dead City, Dead City to Lamansk, Lamansk all the way to Jupiter. But like, we're gonna be running through a ton of mercenaries if we do that. But the other option would be to go to you know, start from Rostock. We could get through Army Warehouse pretty easily, but we'd have to go then to Red Forest. And then we can, <laughs> I don't know, what's worse, Lamansk or Red Forest? Because Red Forest is just full of monolith and all kinds of mutants. And yeah, yikes, that would be, that'd be a little tough. I'll have to do some planning. 
We're gonna have to pick up on this, uh, making our own hideout objective on the next episode. I, I apologize, but this video is just already at like 30 minutes, and I'm looking at like six and a half hours of recording right now. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of just gonna try and make it. I was a little bit late on this video, okay? I gotta be honest. So I'm making this part that you're watching right now, and then the next part's gonna be tomorrow, or there's a good chance it's already up by the time you're watching this. So go ahead and check it out if you want, where we actually get this base situated. Um, it's one hell of a time. So thank you guys for watching this episode, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.